Welcome back. They can be the excitement machines of Rugby World Cups, but now there's a new plea from the Pacific to stop them becoming pushovers. The Samoan Prime Minister wants help from Commonwealth leaders to break down what he labels an international rugby board monopoly. With tonight's special report, here's Pacific correspondent Barbara Drever. While Manu Samoa keeps proving it can compete with the best in the world, oh, too good. The big man will score the first try. its leader will keep fighting for a more even playing field. This is the most unfair uh, organisation, uh, the IRB. The Samoan Prime Minister is also president of its rugby union. He won't give up on a decade-old battle against an international rugby board ruling, forbidding players from representing a country when they've already played for another. New Zealand's gone into bat for its Pacific neighbours before. Now the Prime Minister wants all Commonwealth leaders to step in. The other national teams should have the touch to keep fighting and fighting and fighting to break up the monopoly. It would give Manu Samoa a bigger selection pool. Yeah, obviously it would be a big boost with the experience of a lot of those players that come through uh, the New Zealand and All Black system. For Alessana Tuilangi, it's personal. He played a key role in Manu Samoa's recent whipping of the Wallabies while his brother Manu plays for England. The IRB rule means they can never play together for their country. It would be great, you know, uh, all of our brothers representing uh, our country. Samoa's Prime Minister says New Zealand, Australia and South Africa have a responsibility to make that happen. If they continue to behave the way they behave now, they are all cowards. They should stand up and fight. In a statement to One News, the IRB says it's committed to the development of Pacific rugby. It's put in $33 million into the region's unions, funded several Pacific tournaments and paid for a state-of-the-art $1.9 million high-performance centre in Apia. With the World Cup now just weeks away, the Manu Samoa players are focusing on their game, not politics. World Cup, uh, World Stage, anything could happen. And a chance to again be the pride of the Pacific. Barbara Drever, One News.